Hello, my name is Mohamed Damani. I'm the regional executive chef for the Mount Carmel Health System, and today I'm going to be making shakshuka for you. Today I'm going to be making shakshuka for you. It's a heavily spiced Middle Eastern dish. It's not spicy, but it's very flavorful. It has a lot of different things, cumin, black pepper, garlic, onion, tomato, and peppers, and it's a stew that's topped with some poached eggs. So to start the recipe, we have our mise en place. That means things in place. So everything is in its place here that we need for the recipe. We have olive oil, garlic, cumin, chili powder, paprika, salt, pepper, red wine vinegar. We have a sweet red pepper, an onion, and some fresh cilantro, as well as some crushed canned tomatoes. And then the finishing touch will be the six eggs that go on top. And then optional for this dish, there's pita that we will serve with it, and we can top it with some feta as well. So to start, I'm going to prep all of the vegetables, and then when we come back, I'll start cooking the shakshuka in the skillet over here. All right, so we finished prepping our vegetables. We have some diced red pepper here, some diced onion, chopped garlic, and chopped cilantro. So all of these are ready for our recipe, and we're gonna start to cook. So I have the skillet over here. I've preheated it to about a medium heat. I'm gonna add in my olive oil. I'm gonna let that get hot for a minute. Then we're gonna add in our onions. we get all of it in there. I'm gonna add in our diced red pepper. Then we're gonna put in our cumin, our chili powder, and our paprika. And the reason we're putting the spices in right now is because we want that oil to kind of open up the spices. It'll release some of the natural oils in the spices and flavor your whole dish. So we just want to cook this for about a minute or so, just till the onions are translucent. I'm actually gonna turn the skillet this way so I can hold it. You want to keep stirring because you're doing a saute here and with the saute you don't want to allow it to burn on the bottom of the skillet so you want to keep it moving so it doesn't have time to burn. The onions are just starting to get translucent there. Now we're going to add in our salt and our red wine vinegar. Give that a little stir. Then we're gonna add in our crushed tomatoes. We we'll make sure we stir that thoroughly. We're going to bring it to a simmer and then we're going to turn the heat down. Simmer is just when it's starting to bubble. You don't want it to be like a full boil. You don't want it exploding out of the pan. You just want it bubbling a little bit. We're going to turn the heat down 
and we're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes while stirring occasionally. So you want to stir every one to two minutes to make sure it's not burning. All right, I'm going to let this simmer. When we come back, we'll add in the eggs and we'll finish the dish. All right, so we're back now and we've let this simmer and cook down for about 10 minutes. What you want to look for is you want most of the liquid to be cooked off. You want it to be reduced to where you can make little indentations and wells for your eggs to go into. Once you have that, if there's still too much liquid, let it cook a little bit longer. And what we're going to do to finish this dish, we're going to make six indentations for the eggs to go into all around the skillet. And one right in the middle. Got five around and one right in the middle. And then we're going to crack eggs. The best thing to do with eggs, don't crack them directly into the skillet. Get a little container, crack them in there. That way you can make sure you avoid any shells. So we're going to crack one. We're going to go ahead and pour it right in one of those indentations. And then we'll just keep going. We'll crack the other five here. Essentially what we're doing here is we're poaching the eggs in the tomato stew that we've made. So instead of poaching them in boiling water, we're poaching them right in the stew. All right, and now we're going to leave this on low and we're going to cover it. We're going to let it cook for about anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes, depending on how well you like your eggs. You want to definitely cook until at least the white is set, but the yolk, you can have it as runny or as solid as you want. If you want it more solid, just let it cook longer. So we'll let this cook, and when we come back, we'll plate it up. All right, so this has been cooking for about, about 8 minutes or so. You can see the whites are set. The yolks are still a little bit runny. This is perfect for how I like to eat it. If you like the yolk a little more done, you can cover it back up, let it cook for another two to three minutes. To finish, we're going to sprinkle some black pepper, feta cheese, and fresh chops, chopped cilantro. So we're gonna sprinkle the pepper right over the eggs, just like that. I'm gonna sprinkle the feta right on top. This is optional. You do not have to put feta on it if you don't like feta. You can also substitute mozzarella cheese if, if that's more your speed or Parmesan. And then finally some chopped cilantro. So we're just gonna go right around just like that. And to serve with this, I've actually toasted some pita in a skillet. Pita bread is wonderful, it's great, but right out of the package it doesn't have a ton of flavor. If you put a little bit of oil or pan spray in a skillet and just cook it over medium heat, it improves the flavor and the texture greatly. All right, so now we're gonna plate our shakshuka. We're gonna get a little bit of the tomato stew, put it right in the bottom of the bowl here. We're going to grab one of our eggs and just lay it right on top. Get a little more of that stew on the side here. This would also be great if you were to put a little bit of couscous or rice underneath it. Makes a great dish that way. Or you can just serve it with some pita bread, as we have right here. We have our toasted pita. And there is the shakshuka. Hi, my name is Amy Shea and I'm nutrition faculty with Mount Carmel College of Nursing. And in this video, we're going to discuss the nutritional aspects of the shakshuka recipe, which you saw prepared by Chef Muhammad. So the main thing I want to focus on in this video is, is learning about eggs and their nutrition. And we've talked about eggs in previous videos, if you've seen any of the other ones, but just as a reminder, eggs are a great source of protein. They have six grams of high quality protein in each large egg, and they also contain all nine essential amino acids. And so what that means is amino acids are the building block of protein, and the essential ones are those that we cannot make in our body, so we have to eat them in food. And eggs provide 
all nine of those essential amino acids. So it's a great source of protein, a pretty cheap, easy, affordable source of protein. So as you can see on this slide, there are many additional benefits associated with eggs. Again, that protein helps with muscle building, which is really important, especially as we age. So as we get older, we lose muscle mass and eggs can provide that high quality protein to help preserve muscle mass that may be lost with aging. In addition, um, eggs contain 13 essential vitamins and minerals, including vitamin D, selenium, choline, lutein, lots of really important nutrients. And we also know that eggs, because of the protein content, may help with satiety, which can help with weight management overall. So I think this shakshuka recipe is really easy uh, to prepare and has a lot of great nutrition for you guys. So I hope you will enjoy.